Are you out of your mind? I told you not to try and do this. You should have seen me. I rode on a bus, then I rode on another bus, then I rode on another bus. Clyde, those are not amazing things. Those are not even mildly challenging things. I'm going to reward this woman, and I know what she needs. She needs a car. And how are you going to do that? You think you can just give somebody a car away anonymously without a trace? Clyde, what about taxes? Insurance. There's an art to it. You are not your uncle. You almost got us killed today following that woman home. You cannot do this. Listen, I know I'm not my uncle, but even my uncle wasn't my uncle when he was my age. He was just a guy trying to figure out who he was. I've waited my whole life for that one thing that'll make me special, my superpower. And now I have it, money. Money is my superpower. Please. You've watched my uncle do what he did. He confided in you. Teach me how to do this. Help me make him proud. That look in your eye I've seen before, but it wasn't on your face. It was on your Uncle Bill's. Years ago, I was struggling to master an instrument called a bassoon, and I was going to give it up. And your uncle gave me an amazing speech that not only strengthened my resolve to continue with an instrument that some people call the farting bedpost, but that melted my heart and caused a most amazing, awkward situation where I wanted to tongue kiss your uncle in the mouth. Oh, now, he turned away politely and told me he wasn't in the guise. But when you look me in the eye and talk from your heart, I saw your uncle. Let's give that woman a car. <laughs> what about a Toyota Maxima? Uh, no, no, 2003? Come on, man. Uh, Escalade. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not about a Volvo. <laughs>